I'll touch upon the major workflow of inpatient, outpatient, and uh, ER, emergency, and health checker. Few of the points, whatever are critical in functionality towards operations and mainly the management, first I'll cover. After that, second half of my presentation, I'll try to take you through few of the points where we are focusing more and how we'll be doing the turnaround time and operational wise, how we will be tracking it that will be going through. So I have divided my presentation into two parts. One is related to the management and how management can oversee the thing and how few functionalities are in the hospital. And uh, apart from these two major points and all, if you're having any more expectations and all, you can uh, share and uh, if you say, OK, I'll go ahead with my presentation. Uh, one more thing before uh, you start Ramon sir. If uh, anybody is having any query, just lift your hand uh, so that like he'll stop and he'll try to answer your question. Yes. Yeah. Sure, OK, I'm going ahead with my presentation. When before uh, I start my presentation, I want to tell you one point. When we started our journey, uh, IT journey, software development and implementation uh, across the group. At that time, whatever softwares were available in the market, including the international uh, means uh, international companies built softwares and all. Ours was the top one. Today also, if you look at the functionality and end to end connectivity, whatever functionalities and features we have in an integrated way, we have not seen in any other softwares, which are top five softwares also, which are available across the globe. So initially when we started, when we checked and all, only 20 to 25% of the requirements, whatever we were expecting at that time were available in the market. That's why we went for our own development and the same software is being used across the group in all the hospitals and all. And it's an integrated one. This point I wanted to uh, tell you so that uh, whenever I'm saying integrated connectivity end to end, all the processes and all means prior to the registration, prior to the appointments, before the hospital journey starts and all from that place to post discharge and after discharge processes in that way, the process wise it is integrated and we are using all the modules. Whatever is possible, I'll be touching it and uh, we'll go in detail. First to start with our mission is to bring healthcare of uh, international standards within the reach of every individual. We are committed to the achievement and maintenance of excellence in education, research and healthcare for the benefit of humanity. That is our mission statement from our leadership team. And in 1983, just I'll touch upon for five minutes the initial uh, Apollo about the Apollo and all, and then I'll go to the module. In 1983, it started journey with uh, 150 vets in Chennai, and we have all these verticals across. Whenever we are saying about Apollo hospitals, pharmacy, clinics, diagnostics, and we have daycare surgery like Apollo Spectra hospitals and all women and child hospitals, sugar, Apollo white dentals, Apollo life, ATHS, home care. And these are all the different entities under Apollo group and running at different places. And as far as patient journey is concerned, all are integrated to one platform. Like if we are talking about the unique healthcare identifier, we call it as UHID. That is the registration number of patient. Once it is registered at one hospital or clinic or anywhere, the same can be used across any hospital. And it is an integrated platform that I wanted to uh, showcase here. And we have mobile applications through Apollo 247 app also. And whatever transactions we are doing in any of the facility, all this facility is available in mobile app like patient medical record, I'll say lab reports or other information about his appointments. And uh, in hand, he can access maximum his EMR on mobile. 
group it glands uh, i'll touch upon uh, the number of hospitals around 71 hospitals and 10000 plus beds with 66% occupancy and uh, a loss a loss we call it as average length of stay the number of days patient stays in the hospital that is 4.26 days around 2,16,000 plus inpatients and 37 lakhs outpatients. That's the turnover and uh, the Apollo Health and Lifestyle related, as I said in the previous slide, clinics, sugar clinics and diagnostics, dental, dialysis, spectra hospitals, cradle and children's hospital, fertility centers. These are the numbers which are there across Pan India. And pharmacy outlets 4000 plus and uh, with a revenue of 6.2 and 11.26 private label sales also. And we have Apollo 247, 12 million registered users are there, 6000 6, plus doctors are there online. And the number of transactions, what we uh, do online consultations and all, whatever we have done, around 37.3 lakhs as on date. The other short, uh, uh, snapshot of uh, our uh, services, 150 million lives we touched till now, or 1,75,000 heart surgeries. First multi-organ transplant is done in Apollo group only. Patients from around 140 countries and over 37,000 joint replacements, over 16,400 kidney transplants, over 16 million preventive health checkups, and first adult and pediatric liver transplant has happened in Apollo group, performed over 3,800 liver transplants and world's busiest solid organ transplant program also done here. Why I'm seeing all these numbers and all, I'm not doing any business this thing and I'm not doing any selling here. Why I'm showing all these numbers and why I'm saying all these number of centers and this many verticals available in hospital and all. All these transactions are happening in MedMantra. MedMantra is our product name, software name, and all these transactions are happening in an integrated way in our software. That is why I'm interested and I'm showing these numbers and not uh, in any other view. Mainly when we are doing the digital transformation uh, in uh, through uh, in healthcare through IT, we wanted to see that maximizing the time for care means people who are there operationally, if they are spending time in the manual transactions or any other transactions which are not related and all that we want to optimize in clinical, financial and diagnostic and patient engagement areas. And we wanted to automate the process. Whenever we are doing any of the IT process and all, the design principle is patient centric care model only will be doing it. And whatever we can benefit to the patient service and all, that will be doing it. And each of the process, whatever we are doing from registration till admission and post admission and all, wherever it is required, we'll be giving the alerting and reminders to the concerned caretaker for increasing the operational efficiency and clinical efficiency. These are the things what we look at whenever we are looking at any of the process or change process and all. Till now, any questions before I proceed to the process flows of outpatient and emergency? No, sir. Am I clear or no, sir. any? No, sir. Okay. No, uh, please, uh, no, please sir, let ahead. us know like if he is going fast. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, go a little Hold slow, first. Ramon, sir. Go a little okay. slow. Yeah. Okay. okay. First, I'm touching the outpatient customer journey. Uh, most of you will be uh, knowing uh, the process and all how the journey happens in healthcare relating to the outpatient. Any patient, if he is trying to approach any of the doctors and all, they'll go through the appointment process. And in appointment, first we'll be doing the registrations. And after registration, we'll be consulting the doctor. And once we consult the doctor and all in operational areas, operations department and operational related like diagnostics or any services and all there we'll be touching upon and we'll be having the billing services, pharmacy related services, sample collection, 
radiology, cardiology, and other lab services and all. This is the general flow journey of a outpatient customer. In each of the point, whenever we are looking at appointments, we have a facility where uh, through mobile also we can book the appointments through websites, Ask Apollo 247. We have a facility where before reaching the hospital itself, if he wants to do the transactions and all, he can do online and he can book the appointments and all. Whenever they are booking the appointments, they'll have a facility of SMS and email alert and WhatsApp confirmation will be sending it to them and we'll be giving them prior day a automated call also. And if he's planning to reschedule the appointment or if he's planning to cancel his appointment or if he's coming on time, even that confirmation will be taking through IVRS system. So that next day morning, whenever customer is coming before a customer comes to the hospital and all operation department knows that these are the people who are confirmed appointments and they'll be coming for this particular doctor, this particular specialty and all that type of facility is available in the software. And when we are sending the SMS to the customer after he books the appointment, he'll be getting geolocation and we'll be sending him the basic information about his related speciality like patient educational related video also automatically will be sending it to him. For example, if he has booked appointment for cardiology, cardiology related education, whatever is required, the minimal one, the general information that also we are sending to customer. And if he is booking appointment for one of the location in the city, we'll send the geomap location also so that he's easily he can reach the hospital. And as a process, online COVID declaration and if any process to be completed before he reaches the hospital and all those links also we are sending through SMS so that it is informative of him. And registration process. Shaheed sir, so we need a SMS, bulk SMS package also? Yes. For this purpose? Yes. Okay. And registrations, uh, if you uh, say registrations, he can do through his uh, mobile um, mobile uh, using the Apollo 247 app. Once he enters into the hospital, we have given facility where he can use the kiosks which are placed in the front place and they can do the registrations. Apart from that, if anybody is interested to do on their own, if they are approaching the counter, they'll accept the mobile number and uh, means the Apollo staff who are there in the frontline area, they accept the mobile number and they'll send the SMS of registration link so that they can do on their own. And all these facilities and all for registrations we are providing in the frontline itself. And whatever payment process is there related to the registrations and all, they can pay online or they can pay at the counter also. And once they do the registration, if any information to be updated apart from the name and other critical information, they can do the modification on their own. Why I'm stressing on this particular point is when we looked at the process streamlining and all in the registration area, when they're registering and when they're taking the appointment and all, they'll write some short information of their address and when they are going for any insurance and further treatment and all, in their insurance card and other places, their names and their address and all will be different. And unless and until they provide the full information, they'll not do the process. For avoiding that, this facility is available across the counters in the hospital. And also the same facility is available to the customer where they can change this information on their own. This is about the registrations process, how customer can reach to the hospital through IT process. Consultations. Customer can book his new appointment. Customer can book his new appointments. Hello. There is a question, Ramon sir. There is a question yeah. right here. Uh, Ramon sir, uh, I just wanted to ask uh, the patient would be paying consultation fees along with the registration fees. Yes, uh, if he is selecting the specialty and if he knows the doctor whom he is going to meet, he mm -hmm. has a facility where he can pay online, not only for the consultations, services like health checkups and all. If he is planned, he's registered, and if he's coming for a particular health checkup, he can pay online. 
no no i'm not talking about health check up like suppose a particular uh, patient he visits the doc uh, he visits uh, our hospital and uh, uh, i think as the process says first time when a person is getting registered there there is a particular registration fees which he needs to pay and then when he selects a particular doctor that i want to uh, consult to mr x uh, like uh, dr x so uh, the, the consultation fees of dr x would be paid um, at the time of registration only there is a facility they can pay it online also i'll take the example of 247 or uh, the medmantra thing and all before he meets the doctor if he wants to pay yes he can pay otherwise i really according to medmantra uh, app uh, medmantra solution uh, the consultation fees is paid after the consultation both the facilities are available it will be depending on the decision of internal management and if you're talking about that particular process i have to talk about how the fee is collected whether it is collected online or they are collecting through cash uh, different methods are there but software wise yes there is a facility they can pay online uh, mega ji both options are available like based on uh, whatever process we decide for bopa yeah yeah it's not about online or cash uh. um, Uh, what i'm trying to ask is it would be play um, you know it would be paid before the consultation only because what i could get from the uh, flow chart right now hmm. uh, uh, according to med mantra solution it is paid after the consultation no both both provisions are there like only okay. like we have to like so how our hospital mm-hmm. yeah you based on your decision we will enable okay. that process like pre you can do or post also you can do both okay. are possible okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. go ahead ramon sir and once the customer visits to the hospital and all uh, using the qr codes uh, means i'll tell you one flow how the queue management is done in the hospital and the same process is followed at different places i'll take example of consultation only and uh, uh, wherever it is available like insurance billing and other areas op areas diagnostic areas op, uh, op billing areas admission area the same process continues any customer is visiting for consultation for example he has taken the appointment and he is entering into the hospital and all using the qr code he can enter into the queue system that is option 1 and other option if he is reporting at any counter we checked will check that as arrived and once he is arrived into the system and all whenever he is going into the doctor consultation room the check in happens and then doctor will be doing the consultation pro- consultation prescription everything and all and he'll do the check out and during this process once he's arrived and before he goes into the check in and all we have display systems in uh, doctor area i'll say we call it as a wing doctor wing in doctor wing on tvs it gets displayed his queue system with numbering serial number and all waiting list and all so that it is informative to the customer this we have created means it will be depending on the hospital to hospital infrastructure if you are waiting area is common yes you can put one single display there and if you are having two three different areas and all there you will be putting two three different tvs and related doctors information gets displayed on the tvs in that way we are handling the queue management in the consultant areas any questions related to queue management Yeah, uh, and uh, in the second section of uh, Mr. Ramon's presentation, he'll show like how so it looks like. How it looks like. Uh, he'll show the some of the pictures uh, so that you can get the visibility. Yeah. When yeah, go on. Yeah, when consultant is doing transactions on his computer or uh, on his computer, he'll be having facility of if any images and all are there, previous information he can access. medical record previous medical records if it is in the manual format and all if it is scanned and kept in one server they can access previous records online if he has entered and that information he can access through the software and medical diagnostic medical orders also previous uh, investigations and related reports he can access and if he is planning to send this particular customer to another specialty doctor and all he can do the referrals and all online and once he does the referral to some other doctor that information as an sms goes to the second doctor and uh, ramon sir uh, there is a question from sakshi ma'am yeah 
Uh, Ramon sir, I just wanted to understand that the SKU management will also be. We have different chambers of OPD, so where they they'll have a TV there, and then the Q registration number will be shown there also, and the doctor can click. Okay, the next one come forty two, forty three. Is that possible? Both Is the that the aim? Yeah. Both the things sir. The secretary can manage the Q. Our doctor he himself can manage the Q without secretary also. The view whatever we are displaying. It manages both. Anybody can handle it. The next customer and all, then automatically it changes. Okay, so uh, I don't know if in our hospital we are giving. Uh, I think uh, Rajiv sir, we are giving a uh, television on every OPD chamber, right? Like in front of the uh, cluster of OPDs. Yes, yes, ma'am. So we'll follow this queue management there, right? Uh, yes, we will correct. If Just need. try to work it out. Okay, how we do it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because you are referring to the infrastructure related question and all, I want to add one more point here. When you are planning for any TV in any of the area and all, either you see the network cabling is done there or the Wi-Fi is available there. This is important for displaying the information uh, because uh, if it is a new structure and uh, if it is not planned and all, again like last moment you cannot change all these things. And just uh, like uh, uh, Ramon sir, like all all floors Wi-Fi already planned. Yeah. Okay, okay. Then, where, where then, Wi-Fi okay. is there? And the Mega is having question. Mega, Mega Madam is having question. Yeah, Mega, Mega Madam. Uh, yeah, uh, Ramon sir, actually, um, uh, I have another question related to queue management only. So, uh, uh, if a patient wants to know how much time um, uh, uh, his uh, his number would uh, his appointment number would take, so is that uh, is there a procedure where online he can uh, see um, approximately at what time his uh, appointment will be uh, scheduled? In the system, we made that provision, but uh, in the display, we have hidden that field because if four customers are waiting and if I say that 15, 15 minutes for each of them and all, uh, according to the system, uh, it says that and the third customer knows that he has to wait for one hour time and all. But sometimes that one hour can be reduced to 40 minutes or it may get further delay if he gets any, the doctor gets any emergency thing and he has to attend emergency patient. Mm -hmm. Then it goes off. If you are displaying all the information on screen, it may create some problem. That is why we have taken off that field. But as per your requirement, if doctor is sticking to OP timing strictly and somebody is handling ER, and if they are maintaining the 10 minutes or 15 minutes time in a stipulated way, means yes, we can add that and we can display the timing. So a, a, a patient would be able to see. Uh, what uh, exactly what number is going on uh, in the OPD chamber and he can uh, analyze approximately what time it would take for his appointment to come so that he can plan his visit accordingly. That would be possible. Uh, uh, Megazi here, uh, that's what like what Ramon sir is trying to say is uh, normally like we are keeping 15 minutes slot for each patient. Yeah, 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 yeah. If suppose doctor sees in five minutes, uh, then if uh, third patient is not available there, like third patient will come and say, like uh, my my slot is at 3.45 and I came that time on, like uh, I'll come that time only, then like you'll have a problem. That's why he's not showing on the TV that uh, three, like uh, that 15, 15 minutes, uh, we are keeping it, uh, keeping as a slot duration. That okay. creates unnecessary problem. That's why, like we can, we uh, the, uh, technically we can do uh, Megaji. That is possible. Technically, we can do, but based on the way so how it goes, like we can implement. Uh, difficult to follow. Ah, difficult to the implement. That is for only like. Yeah. Yeah. For operations team, uh, it will be little difficult to manage on ground because we'll say that okay, 3:45. I came at 3:45. Means if prior patient has gone there or doctor is not available, he'll be demanding on that. So. It's normally, a option. Yeah, normally what happens if any IP critical patient is there, he has to attend that patient first before OP. So like he'll go in bit, uh, middle uh, to attend that case and come back. So like uh, if you are showing all the things on the screen, it will have a problem okay, okay. operationally. Okay. okay, right. Yeah, go ahead, Ramon. Uh, once, uh, means uh, here, uh, once a doctor is done, his consultation means he has filled the full form, like uh, he has prescribed the medicines, he has uh, said this uh, patient has to undergo these particular investigations and all means automatically this information gets transferred to OP billing for the OP investigations and diagnostic area, uh, diagnostic related tests and all he can do billing straight away. 
and if he is prescribing any medicines, medicines information gets transferred to pharmacy. By reaching that counter, customer can show his UHID number and automatically the billing can be done. At the same time, once the consultation is completed, whatever investigations are suggested for patient, customer will be getting one URL where if he wants, he can do billing also online and he can do the payment also online. That facility is also available. That is option one. Option two, if he is not able to do the transaction on his mobile, he can go to nearest OP billing counter and once he says this is his UHID, then they'll as soon as they type the UHID, whatever investigations doctor has prescribed that shows there. Out of four, if doctor has given him suggested him four investigations, they'll say that OK, these are the four suggested by doctor. Do you want to undergo all or if you want to modify and all they can take off one and they can do the speed and willing there that facility is available. In the same way, pharmacy also medicines and all whatever doctor entered. That information is available and straight away whatever medicines is required. Customer can collect it and. Do by doing this process of investigations online and pharmacy online here we are eliminating the error. For example, if doctor says X-ray chest PA, if operator types X-ray chest some AP, there is an error possibility. But whatever doctor has prescribed that as it is, if it is that as it is comes in the billing counter and all, they can do the billing for that. In the same way, medicines also medication errors also for OP patients we can eliminate by automatic transferring of this information to OP pharmacy. These are the two facilities directly integrated with the prescription. Uh, one thing to intervene here, like two major benefits are there with this. One, when we are insisting uh, customers to do the online billing, we can avoid the long queues in front of the counters. That is one like a uh, uh, customer feels very happy, like if he's having knowledge on handling apps, that is very easy for him to do the uh, billing from uh, by using link or payment gateway. That is one. And the second thing is like when doctor is using the system and uh, uh, prescribing the orders and whether like you can track it, like whether like a customer is uh, availing those services in our hospital or not, those things you can track and you can insist the doctor to educate the customer to use our uh, services. Like sometimes what happens like they'll go out, customer will go out and avail services and uh, bring the reports to doctor. Those things like you can like doctor wise, like we have a Ramon, Mr. Ramon will show the dashboards also. Like we like uh, you can track doctor wise how many like how many patients, how many orders uh, like uh, sent to billing and how many are released from the billing. Those things we can track through the dashboards that we 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 give the dashboard access to the management and operational leadership team. They will daily have a meetings and track the uh, CPOE uh, uh, numbers. Yeah. yeah. Conversion. Shreer has explained the same process here uh, in operations. We call it as uh, the tracker. Each consultant, how many investigations he ordered, whether they got it done in the hospital or not, how many medicines he prescribed whether the customer executed that thing within our hospital or not. That conversation percentage and all can be tracked by operations team. And when we are doing the billing also, uh, as I said, as soon as uh, the consultation is done, the link goes to the customer. If customer is doing online transaction, no need of going to any counter for printout and all. He'll get the bill copy also uh, on mobile and he can go to the next counter like sample collection or radiology and all and he can perform his tests. In this process, whenever I'm saying bill copy is sent to mobile and this online link is sent and all here, whatever manual paper processes are there that we have digitized and we wanted the paper elimination here so that the free flow process happens here without any dependency of printing and all. 
and in billing transactions when they are doing and all if any of the investigation he has built it and if he wants to cancel it that authority up to some extent we are giving to the billing counter person if it is a higher one and all once the bill is generated then it goes to the next level supervisor or manager and unless and until they approve they cannot cancel it that facility is also available and any of the diagnostic area acknowledged about that particular test process nobody can cancel in the system unless and until billing manager approves it example patient opted for x-ray he went to x-ray and it is acknowledged and after the x-ray is performed if somebody at the counter trying to cancel that thing and all it is not possible patient reported at x-ray because of some health conditions or some other abnormality and all technician has certified saying that x-ray is not performed then if billing manager signs on it or online if they approve it for the cancellation request then only the cancellation can be done here i'm saying online transactions processes in place generally in operations what they do is they'll go to each and every place like supervisor has to sign billing person has to sign then only it gets cancelled and all the manual process that we have eliminated online billing person can raise a request by looking at the technician's comment and billing manager approves it then only they can cancel it two way three level checkings are available in the same way discounts also if anybody is coming to the counter asking for discount as per management approval and all billing person will have authority up to some five percent or he'll not even have authority to give any discount also it's a configurable option the second level approval means manager can give third level approval means only it goes to the management once they approve online then only the discount is possible you can ask me 24 by 7 all the managers and management are not available and how the discounts can be approved and all we have a mobile application for this thing once the request is raised it is available as an alert to the next level person manager or management once they approve on their mobile it gets affected in the system and then the discount process can be continued in the same way the cancellation process or other online approval processes can be done using their individual mobile any questions here sir yeah hello yeah yeah i can sir, hear you sir uh, Meg, uh, it's uh, some criteria for uh, discount uh, billing uh, billing executive authorize uh, 5% 10% or yes. it's a maximum all uh, done by approval only no any alternate option manual uh, if uh, management or approval person maybe not available in on particular that time then alternate option for this process that any alternate option available or not management take a call for example uh, management as a decision they'll say that uh, no more than 10 percent means only you have to take approval from me sometimes in a year one or two times if they are not available they are out of country somewhere and all means yes you can make a full bill and whatever you are collecting you can collect it at the discrete of that particular operator and after that you take the approval and you streamline that it's a decision of internal okay. management how they want to do the process if one person is not there they can create parallelly two people at that level at leadership team also two people for example uh, EBO manager means general manager or uh, management person. Both of them take a call. Finance person and management person can take a call. You can give uh, authority to both the people so that it is effective. If one person is not there, another person will approve it. And once it is approved by one person, it will not appear for the second person. And uh, what is what we can do is whatever discounts or whatever transactions we are doing, next day automatically the report goes to everybody and it is informative and transparent way you know that who has approved it and all and what is the thing for example only top management has to approve for 50 percent of the discount instead of top management person if accounts person has approved it so next day when we get a mail and all immediately it is questionable we'll not wait for audit process to happen after one month or two months they'll be looking at it and all no 
immediately next day they'll be getting a mail and they can scrutinize it and uh, they can streamline the process. Okay, sir. Um, okay, summary. Summary. No, no, wait, your wait, Ramon, is, sir. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. You continue. Continue. Yeah. Summary to your question is when you are creating a process internally, manager level, I can put two people. Management level, I can put two, three people. Any one of them, they can do it. In that way, you can decide the process and accordingly we can configure in the system. Uh, there are more questions on this, uh, Ramon. Sir. Yeah, yeah yes. Mega G, please go ahead. So I have small, small questions like if uh, while uh, doing consultation, if, uh, if when the doctor is uh, uh, writing the prescription, so um, whether that medicine is available with the pharmacy or not, or is that if, if that is out of stock, so will that be visible to the doctor? Internally in the software, whatever stock is available with the alternate medicine option, only those things are visible to the doctor. And okay. if any of the medicine is prescribed and at that particular time the stock is not available, pharmacy team have an option of giving alternate with consultation with doctor. Generally, pharmacy team will call doctor, they'll take the confirmation and they'll do it in case of OP. In case of IP, we have a process for pharmacologists who verifies this thing. In that way, they'll be giving an alternate medicine in inpatient scenario. Okay. And in your sir, radiology, uh, as it is written, that SMS link of images would be sent to the patient. So it would be sent to the doctor also or to just That's to the patient? Thing. If doctor requires, one VIP patient is there and the related information it is required and all means, yes, we can send it to doctor also. Automatically, it goes to the customer. Okay. And a radiology person will have an option where he can select the image and he can type the mobile number and he can send it to the person if it is approved internally by your medical head. If medical head says that, okay, you can send it across to consultant or referral consultant and all if the process decision is taken, yes. Otherwise, by default, all this information can be viewed online by consultants anywhere across the hospital with their login credentials. Actually, um, uh, uh, what uh, I have seen in some softwares is like the the, the, uh, the dashboard of the doctor. You know that mm. uh, it gives a pop up. Like uh, sometimes when the uh, when the report is such which needs urgent um, doctor's uh, review, so it gives a red blink that the doctors need to review this ASA. Yeah. So they do we have that kind of feature. Yes, that feature is available. That we call it as critical value or critical reporting and all. For example, creatinine is a lab report and creatinine value is more than one. If it is four, five and all, immediately the SMS goes to the consultant that facility is available. In the same way, images uh, related reports like X-ray, CT scan, MRI, Internally, over a period of time, we have identified a few words. We say those words are critical and with, if that word is available in the report means it's a critical report and all. If that is typed by any of the radiology doctor and all, then automatically that information goes to the consultant saying that in radiology report, this particular CT scan, MRI, X-ray, this is there and all. In that way, we are alerting the customer, uh, sorry, consultant. Okay. Not yeah, uh, uh, yeah, Rajiv, please go ahead. First, uh, I wanted to know uh, how many platforms we will provide to our doctors, managements, and uh, our operational uh, heads. Uh, like uh, one, we provide the Mad Mantra and on a desktop or either laptop, and uh, we will also provide the mobile app. So only one mobile app, or how ask a pillow and uh, 24 by 7 or Mad Mantra app. So I just wanted to know how many uh, interface we will provide. We will arrange. Okay, interfaces and all it is only uh, whatever uh, process I explained till now. For customers and all, you have mobile facility. For doctors, they are using their computers. And if doctors are willing to access any information from their home or on their move and all through VPN secured connectivity, they can connect into the system from any device. So platform wise, if you ask me, I'll say only single platform for customer. It is mobile for doctors. It is their own computer, which is there on their desk or computer, which is available at their home or their mobile device. 
no on mobile we will provide the mobile app either we will provide mobile app or we will provide the web uh, form of mad mantra yeah yes. there is no mobile app um, for the uh, doctors they can use the product is mobile responsive they can use it in any devices okay so we he, are not he, building we are not building any app for the doctors okay it's for mobile responsive it can be work for any devices नहीं सर राम मोहन सर सेड दैट प्रीवियसली कि द मैनेजमेंट विल अप्रूव एनी डिस्काउंट ऑन बाय मोबाइल सो वी विल प्रोवाइड द मोबाइल ऐप और वी विल इट्स नॉट दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग आई एम रिपीटिंग अगेन इट इज नॉट अ मोबाइल ऐप इट इज मोबाइल रिस्पोंसिव पेज दैट यूआरएल दैट एप्लीकेशन विल वर्क ऑन एनी डिवाइस लाइक लाइक एंड्राइड फोन आईफोन और टैबलेट्स और डेस्कटॉप और टच कंप्यूटर्स एनीथिंग इज टू इट इज नॉट ऐप Okay. Okay. App means you have to download it and install it. Okay, it is not a downloadable thing. You just put the URL; it will open for any devices. Okay. Uh, URL uh, and uh, credentials. Correct. Yes. Yes. Rajiv, basically, like what you are looking at is so platform means solutions. Your question is on the solutions, right? Yes. One is the Med Mantra is our core HIS. Okay, Med Mantra is the core HIS, and uh, we have EMR like that also. Uh, standard med mantra only med mantra classic we say med mantra digital but both are single platform only like when like we are uh, talking about mobile app we have got one mobile app that is 24 7 that is for the customer okay that is for the customer like all reports okay. uh, customer can log in and see like whatever we are talking about approval workflow that is for internal users like internal hospital users it will be a link like it will be a mobile like as ranga mentioned it's a mobile responsive page it's not okay. it's not a solution solution just like if you are you, when you are clicking that it will show like what are the alerts you have you have to approve there okay 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 majorly like we are using two like one med mantra like classic or digital that's it there is no other solution okay okay Sir, uh, whenever any uh, approval request generate, then concerned authority get any alert, any notification. How he know about uh, approval required by uh, login system or any SMS or any notification alert instant raise by system. Any such stuff? Any provision? We can create SMS alert to the. Consent person, manager, or top management, and all. Then they'll open that link and they'll do the approval. Uh, and in case of emergency, pull up for the answer. Currently, the email alerts are enabled. Okay, that mobile approval solutions only for people who are away from the office and away from the desk. Okay, if they are available in the inside the hospital premises, they can open Med Mantra and approve it. Okay, example if the example takes Akshi or take Karaji or take somebody the finance people. they may not in the desk at all the time okay they may they may they may in the some kind of meeting they may some kind of workshop they may some kind of uh, visit those time they are not in the in front of med mandala computers so what we have done it we made that provision for them to that time they can approve it from the, the mobile even they are inside premises or outside premises but strongly we uh, uh, requesting to if they are inside premises in front of computer they have to approve it med mandala that's the idea However, that leverage given to them to approve it in mobile also. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Also, we are enhancing that product on the more uh, rightly. Uh, Ram Mohan sir said we will enabling the like how Amazon approval will come, right? So once approval come, it will email will trigger and the email you just accept or deny or reject. That op option also we just working on it. Once uh, that will not be in pipeline, it's in the development stage. Once come, that also will give additional information so that the people in the mobile itself they can approve it from the email system. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah, Ramon, sir. Oh. As uh, we discussed the sample wait, collection and all. Yeah, wait, uh, wait, 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 Ramon. Sir. Yeah. yeah. Sir, I have a. Yes, sir. I have a two yeah. question. No, I'm thinking that. Yeah, please. And what is the provision uh, schedule block of doctor on leave? And the second, the what is the provision or alert provision if doctor move sudden leave? That's an uh, tough question. Uh, Rajiv, 
I, I'll, I'll answer in two ways. If doctor is on leave, internally medical team will have a process where if somebody is on leave and whoever is taking care of that particular patient, if it's an admitted patient or outpatient and all, that process is created means the alert goes to that particular doctor. In case of OP, he'll not be doing the consultations. There is no problem. In case of IP, in between, if the doctor is going on emergency leave, then medical process is there where we'll be handing over those cases to the second in line or the team of doctors who are under him and they'll be handling it. Whenever we are sending the communication, generally team practice will be there. It goes to two, three members who are there uh, in the team so that another doctor will take care of the customer. OK, fine. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. And as we discussed the billing process, pharmacy and uh, when per, uh, customer goes to the sample collection and all in sample collection also will have a queue system and the display. He can go with the mobile uh, bill copy and once he shows the bill in that QR code will be there by scanning that. He can give the samples. In the same way, if he goes to radiology, cardiology, or any diagnostic area and all, by tendering uh, the OP number, he can avail the services in that particular department. Yeah, oh, uh, Ramon sir, like uh, by seeing the time, it's now 3.55 uh, time Sorry. check. Actually, like the thing is like I wanted, I just maybe like I need a suggestion, for, suggestion from Sakshi ji and Mega ji. I wanted to break this session into two. Now we have seen OP, like we will see some evidences of OP in the second second uh, presentation. Then like we'll have a, uh, a one more session on IP. Uh, what do you think, uh, uh, Sakshi Madam? And yeah, it Mega works Jay. for me. No, yeah, yeah. let us like otherwise like, it will be too cum clumsy. <laughs> okay, exactly. right. Uh, yeah. Um, Okay, uh, Ramon sir. Now like uh, you show the evidences how we pr uh, we follow the processes. Like in OP, you then like we can we can have one more session on IP. Yes, we'll do. That. Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Okay, few of the options what uh, we added also have listed here, but uh, yes, we are discussing a lot about the theory and all. Let me show you some screenshots so that you can do the evidence of uh, how we'll be doing it and all. First, what I'll do is I'll touch some management dashboards and how it is appearing uh, across the places and all. When I'm showing in this flow, yes, I may be talking about few IP also, but it is related to the data and uh, we'll cover the same thing when we go through the IP process and all. I said uh, doctor TV displays and all how we are displaying currently in Apollo. This is how the queue management happens, room number 22, and this is the waiting list and only the UHID number will be displaying there for the counter management and all. And if one doctor is there and only one doctor related information, if they are if you are displaying in the TV and all means it comes in this way. And if three, four doctors are serving in that particular wing in that particular area. So this screen displays for five seconds and it goes to the 10 seconds and all and the timer and all we can configure it and doctor by doctor about his doctor photograph, his qualifications and his area of focus volume of works, what he is doing, key milestones and uh, our key, uh, clinical uh, means clinical outcomes, what he has done, that information we are displaying and all this information is configurable. This token number and all comes automatically from uh, the med mantra and this information about the doctor and all we have to configure means if quality department or operations department, if they are operating about means if they are uh, collecting information about the doctor and all that can be changed and that as an image we are putting it here. So this can be changed dynamically tomorrow if you don't want all this information and if you want to display only doctor photo and all just upload that image information, then it gets displayed in the counters. So this information is fetched from the HR section? Currently, no. We are making it as a static and we are putting it here. Tomorrow, if it is required and if all this information is available in HR, like his area of focus and volume of works and all means, yes, we can fetch it. But I don't think uh, nobody will be maintaining this type of information in the HR system. OK. Except so his qualifications. We, we and separately feed this information. Yes, we'll feed separately this information one time. 
and whenever it is required a change and all, yes, it can be done and it will be in hands of local IT team can do it. No dependency of software change for this particular thing. Okay. Okay, uh, here what I'm doing is, uh, okay, before I go to the detailed uh, dashboards and all, for a management point of view, once this information is getting fed into the system and all, how we can track it and all, these are few sample dashboards, how we can track it that I'm showing it to you here. For example, how many patient counts are there and uh, how many uh, prescriptions doctors are doing and what is the percentage of it and how the dashboard looks like. For example, uh, the patient count, how many investigations he has written and how many pharmacy things he has written. That information uh, we can track it online and the same information we can see in the graphical format also. And for each specialty wise, how many patients they came and how many they have done in the digital and what is the percentage they are using that same in the graphical format and all. As Sridhar was saying previously, this type of dashboard is available for the operations person. So for that particular day, how many appointments for this particular doctor and how many are arrived and how many checked in and out of this, how many investigations are written and the total investigations and build investigations and how many pharmacy requests. This summary view is also available where operations person dynamically monitor day to day basis. Will not even wait for end of day or next day. End of day and next day information is for management review. But if 10 patients came for cardiology, Dr. X and six arrived and if he has, uh, if uh, the check in is done and investigations are written and the billing is not done means immediately he can call the operations person and he can focus more means operations person means who is there on ground relating to that particular speciality if executive is available and all he can put a question there what is happening why we are not able to counsel him and convert to investigations and all in that way they can run the business on ground dynamically taking this information end of day next day and all is only management information for the reference purpose and all but not for running the business any questions related to this screen this tracking i'll say So dynamically we uh, we will see any time. Yes. Updated information. Yes. Okay. So this can be exported uh, to Excel or whatever format we want. Yes, this uh, this information can be exported and uh, you can take it into Excel and uh, you can do analysis end of the day and you can select the dates and you can information this also and we made much easier. Currently this is in the static form for the operations purpose. But uh, if it is for the management and all means management will they'll get the dashboard in a different way where they can see the analysis trends, graphs and all whatever we saw in the previous screen. I'm skipping few of them which are related to uh, IP. Uh, just management dashboards I'm showing. For example, registrations and all you'll be having different category of tariffs like cash patients will be there, credit patients will be there, insurance will be there, international patients will be there, private sector. This you can categorize as per your requirement in the uh, company tariff and all. But if you want to do the analysis of uh, in 2016, how my category wise customers count and how it is moving now means even that type of information is available in the dashboards. The trending and all you can see in marketing reviews and all these type of information, you can use it. Whatever screenshots I'm showing, these are only few sample screenshots, but you'll be getting in-depth information of this information. So in this, uh, can we view um, department-wise profitability? Like if I want to know whether my cardiology or my gynecology, which department is making the maximum money. So do we have that kind of report? Yes, we have that. Here, uh, this is one view. This is another type of view. How the numbers and all year wise count and all category wise uh, as specifically you're asking for here. I'm showing state wise how we are getting this uh, information means how we are getting the customers and all here within state also district wise count we can see. And uh, as you said for each of the state and all IPOP revenue. Previous year and this current year. And cash patients trend last year, how many cash patients and this year, how many cash patients and all we can see. 
Speciality wise also same information can be viewed here. Left side you have speciality selection within speciality also doctor and within speciality and doctor wise state wise. How many customers you are getting? Month wise trending for number of admissions, discharges, revenue and how many are converting from OP to IP conversions and all. What is their length of stay out of these patients? For speciality or for doctor, what is the mortality rate? So we can filter the data by the doctor and the, the department wise. Speciality, doctor, state wise, you can filter the thing. Here you have speciality, doctor, and number of admissions, discharges, revenue, OP to IP conversions, loss, mortality, and comparison of this thing with the previous year. So when you're doing doctor. Yeah, we can uh, customize the uh, column also. You by selecting it here, whatever information is there, for example, you, you can customize the thing here. I'm showing only the num uh, number of admissions, discharges, revenue in a broader way, month wise and all. When I'm drilling down and all, we can do in this way. Selected items, yes, we can do that. And we can create chart also for of this data. You can export it at any point of time and you can make your own charts also. And few of the graphs are available already in the system. OK. Sir, uh, so um, uh, we uh, as of now, do we have doctors payout module in this? I didn't get you a question. Doctor module? Doctors payout module. Doctors payout module uh, currently no. OK, so um, uh, but, these are MIS reports will will give us the data that we need to um, uh, that we need to have to work out the doctors payout. Right? I'll answer the same when you ask me doctor payout module available means I'll say no, but how to handle doctor payout from this particular thing means whenever the bill is getting generated end of the month, whatever transactions are there that can be extracted and can be transferred to the financial module. If you are using Oracle financials, it goes straight into that and from there you will be doing the accounting and all. So you're not going to use Oracle financials module and if you are using a simple Excel system means end of the month you can extract the data in Excel, whatever you want, you can do it and you can do the payment and all for that. I'll say the module is not available, but facility of fetching the information about the doctor fees and all possible. Okay. If you're taking statement at the end of the month and whatever taxes is required, service tax and all internally, that you'll be direct, uh, directing it and uh, you can straight away pay it. And some uh, management, man, uh, management will take a call saying that, okay, cash only I'll pay month on month and credit I'll not be paying immediately after reconciliation, after two months, three months I'll be paying and all means. That statement you'll be taking once in three months for credit means minus three months of credit statement and you'll be doing the settlement. Cash you'll be doing month on month. That is operational flow. Module is not there, but this is the process how you can uh, maintain uh, the doctor payment. Got it. This is the few screenshots related to the same. Uh, the transactions, the registrations wise and all uh, year wise cash, credit, TPA, how the business is happening and uh, within that particular speciality uh, wise, how many numbers you are getting and all this information you can see. And if you're having tie up with different companies each year, how many customers you are getting from that particular company. And if you are running a credit business more in the particular area and if a marketing executive is there, you can say that, OK, this particular company uh, the previous year I used to get uh, this many customers, but this year I got only two customers. Why like this and what is the problem and all in this way you can do the analysis and uh, you can uh, manage the marketing team, marketing and sales team. Okay, when we are doing the transactions, when we are talking about uh, OP, here what I'm showing is you will be having some five, six, ten number OP counters will be there and the different staff will be working in different shifts and all. If you want to track each and every employee during their timings and all, how many transactions they are doing and what are the peak hours, if you're planning to do that type of analysis and all, this information will be useful.
and you can know that this particular person, how many check-ins he has done, how many confirmation, IP bills, OP bills, registrations, interim bills. Each person-wise transactions also you can plan and you can do the HR manpower management also using this information. Okay, this is one, one dashboard which I, I'll be explaining in uh, uh, IP, but uh, here I'll tell you one process. Any customer is coming to ER and if he's having food requirement and all, they'll be entering it as a request and it goes to the FNB and it goes to FNB as a dashboard and it says that at what time they have sent it and what is the time lapse for each of the thing. They'll be acknowledging at FNB and they'll be acknowledging this same thing at ER also and whatever time TAT is happening that will be calculating and the system gets alert if it is getting delayed and all. It gives alert to the FNB dietitian, FNB manager and all so that the speed response service can be done. This is related to the OP. Here I'll complete the example of IP also. OK, in inpatient, one patient came at uh, first floor and he got admitted. This dashboard shows all the new admissions and in the current occupancy and if any diet changes are there, this type of display appears in FNB and they will be more alert like first floor 101 room number. Uh, here I'm not showing the cursor actually in the live environment. If you put the cursor on that, you'll get the full information of patient, doctor and uh, other information and patient is in that particular ward for last 44 minutes and no diet request has been raised or assessed and all that type of information will be there. And current occupancy means if it is displaying in red, he is transferred from ICU to 9014 and his food assessment is not done. That is why it is displaying in the red and new admissions displaying in the blue color. And if any diet is there and his diet got changed from NBM uh, nil by mouth to diet, uh, liquid diet or solid diet and all. If nurse is doing the transaction and all, this dashboard automatically identifies that and gives alert to FNB. Why I'm showing this thing is the information is available in MedMantra as per the transactions done by nursing station team. It gives alerts in related areas and we are moving the TAT. Otherwise, manually, if we look at and all, if anybody is coming and all, nurse has to call FNB and they'll be giving the food and all means we are creating additional work to nurse and additional work to the FNB team and all. By giving these dashboards and alerting mechanisms and all, we are streamlining the process and we are giving information to the person who's supposed to serve this thing. This one example I want to tell you. These are different dashboards. I'll be uh, explaining you in detail when we are going through the IP process. And uh, we talked about the OP queue system and all, how we are doing it. We can create a kiosk or we will be putting this QR code there. As soon as any customer scans this QR code, it will ask for the mobile number and we are collecting short name also. If he's a new customer, if he's already having UHID number means he can enter, uh, means it will, ask, it will not ask for the name, then he'll be entering into the queue. Here I'm showing you the example, a new customer coming to the AHC health checkup area for OP, area, OP or a health checkup area, the similar process. As soon as he comes, he'll be scanning it and he'll be entering his mobile number, the short number and all. He'll be entering into the queue and accordingly it gets served. In AHC, we have created a process where customer will be scanning this and sitting in the waiting lounge and uh, our team will be going there and he'll be doing the they'll be doing the counseling and they'll make a bill for the health checkup and all. OP, it goes according to the queue management process and if anybody is interested in doing directly, uh, means uh, Consulted patient wants to do directly and all. As I said, they'll be getting the link and they'll be doing the OP billing process. And we have another mechanism also, and this we are going to take up to the next stage also. Uh, we have a concept of digital coupons. If a customer is waiting for doctor, uh, and uh, if his waiting time is more than 30 minutes or 45 minutes because of some emergency and all, all the secretaries has an option of entering customer mobile number and name and they can issue the digital coupon of tea or coffee 
and that they can avail at the nearest counter. Even that facility also we have given it to the secretaries uh, in case of means for radio, uh, for managing the customer during their waiting hour and all. We are doing this. Patient comes for admission and bed is not available and uh, the time is around 12 o'clock and all. We'll say that we'll issue the lunch coupon and we'll say that just complete your lunch and then after that we'll be giving you the bed and all by this 1.30 or 2 o'clock and all. In that way, we are managing the customer. For that also, we have the options. This is sample insurance uh, queue system and all. Okay, one broader thing. This is Octito. I'll cover in the next. These are the few things. So when I'm doing the time check, I'm having 15 minutes. I'll try to cover a few more uh, in my from my second presentation. I was telling you about the OP related uh, online transactions and all through Ask Apollo 24 by 7 app and all. These are the functions which are available online. You're all with me. Any questions as of now? Before I proceed to next the next screens. No questions. OK, uh, this is how they can do the online registrations and all. And uh, when they do online registration, they'll be getting this is a sample SMS. We'll say that the appointment and with this doctor on uh, at this particular time and where they have to report if it is multiple places and all. We'll say that first floor room number 22 and COVID declaration that link also will be sending it. They have if they have to fill up the form online and we'll give the location map also and education related. As I said, we'll be sending link like this and if he is related to the Dr. Sanjay uh, Sinha related specialty, whatever education we want to give it to the customer and all even that link will be sending it so that they'll be going through this and they'll come prepared for whatever basic information they require. In the same way, if they're waiting in radiology area and once it is scheduled and if their waiting time is more than 15 minutes and if they are planning for some X-ray and all, internally quality team has done uh, videos related to X-ray, CT scan, echo, MRI and all the short videos. Once it is scheduled and if their waiting time is a little bit more engaging the customer uh, there during the waiting time and all, we'll be sending them the SMS also that facility is also available. As I said, whenever we uh, whenever the customer is uh, scheduling his appointments every day evening around four between four to six automatic dialer system is also available. This is third party software uh, as a service we have taken from uh, one vendor uh, for all these appointments automatically call goes and it will ask for if they're OK for the next day appointment at 11 o'clock and all we'll ask them for pressing one. And if they want to reschedule, we'll tell them to press two. And if they want to cancel for some reason and all, we'll ask them to press three. With this process, what we'll be doing is all the confirmed appointments and all next day morning operations team will get a list and they'll be uh, prepared for a uh, number of customers who are going to come to that speciality. And if somebody has pressed to, and if they want to do the modification and all, then that information goes to the CRM cell and they'll be calling customer and they'll ask for uh, what is uh, means, uh, what is uh, their convenient time and when they want to reschedule it and all automatically that process happens. If they are pressing button three saying that it is cancelled and all, again the floor operations team, speciality related uh, GREs we call it, They'll be calling the customer and they'll ask why they have cancelled it and what is the reason and all this information is captured and given to the operations head. This is how we'll manage the appointment system and after booking the appointment and all how we take care of the customer and all that is the process. Any questions here related to appointment handling communication and how we are managing the customer before appointment? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. This is the registration form, and registration form is available currently in a few different languages and all. This is available online. And any specific requirement is there? Yes. Uh, any other additional language means that will be taking it as an input, and it will take some time, but 
possibility is there technically can be done. And if a customer comes across the counter and if he wants to do the registration and all instead of doing in the counter, by accepting their mobile number, we'll be sending a registration link and online also he can do within the campus or he can do outside also. And uh, in kiosk, by entering his mobile number, he can uh, see his uh, previous uh, registration details related to self or wherever he has given that mobile number, the related UHID, uh, his related, I mean, custom, he related family members information, and uh, he can book the appointments and all using the kiosk outside or within system also. Here consultations, once the appointments are booked, how it appears uh, to the doctor and all sample screen, I'm showing it here. And I'll show you a few options what consultant can do and all. As I was saying previously, he can do, uh, he can uh, refer to his previous reports, previous uh, prescriptions and all. Lab values. Investigations and all for prescribing investigations. He has a facility of favorites list and whatever uh, he is using most frequently will come on the top and he can select it so that while doing the prescription and all it reduces doctor's time in that way. We have given this favorites facility for investigations and also medicines. I'm not going in detail for the module and all this uh, anyway team will be taking care of the broader points where doctor has a facility that I'm showing it here. Only few screens out of the module. And when he is doing a prescription, if he wants to book the next follow up. Follow up timing and on that day his appointment and all even everything that doctor can schedule on his own in the same way if he's referring to some other doctor and all. That information also he can do it and whenever he is doing that info that tracking and all the follow up appointment SMS goes to the customer and referral doctor SMS also goes to the second doctor to whomever he is referring. Just sample formats I'm showing it to you here. If any customer is coming up with outside reports and if doctor wants to upload into uh, this uh, our EMR that facility is available. If any critical report is there and he wants to keep the document of that, he can scan and he can uh, put it into the system. Subject to availability of that facility in the doctor room. And different payment methods, whatever available in the market as on date, uh, that facility is available and they can do the payments. When doctor is doing the prescription and all, we have a uh, SNOMED a system automatically. Uh, it picks up and it gets stored and it will be useful for the medical records and also medical team tomorrow if they are doing any analysis and uh, that. I shared few screens previously how we'll be tracking the information and all. Uh, I showed one screen which is useful for the operations team and all. This is another format where how many services are ordered, how many got converted and what is the conversion value. If we have not converted investigations and all within our hospital, what is the loss of business we have done and the percentage and all. This is management information where management can see how the conversion is happening within the hospital. This is another view format. Visitor management also we have a system where as soon as customer comes, he will be scanning the QR code and uh, uh, for uh, inpatient visiting and all they will be uh, security will be showing the passes and they can visit. And how many visitors for which customer which customer they have visited and at the time of exit also we are doing the QRs. We are security is insisting for the QR scan so that uh, they know how many visitors came and uh, how many are left and how many are there in the hospital and all that they can trace it out. And because we are using their mobile number and all it can be traced back also. This screen I showed it to you previously uh, doctor's information. 
and porter management housekeeping related team whoever are there we have a third party another uh, company they have uh, tax where nursing stations and doctor places and all they'll be raising a request then porters will get automatic information for transport facility and all in that way uh, we are tracking it and this is a software and whenever from which place to which place they wanted this facility and all they'll be entering automatically porter will get an alert like an sms and this tag will be there with each of the porter where they'll be accepting it and once they complete it and all they'll say that it is completed so that we know that from point a to point b how many transactions are happening from first floor to uh, we can say radiology or from er to other areas and all whenever the portal movement is happening and all we can track each portal means housekeeping portal whenever i'm saying portal it is housekeeping person housekeeping staff how many transactions he is doing and who is free and all it is like our uh, cap service only as soon as the request is raised it goes to the nearby team member who are there whoever accepts it he'll be serving that and for rest of them it just disappears that's how this software is uh, made and we have detailed uh, flow of that in few of the kiosks we have created this thing we call it as emergency assistance and all this is how on the kiosk it appears and if any customer wants to reach any operations head or anybody, if they are not satisfied with the service and all, simply they can enter the mobile number and once they submit it, they'll get an SMS and this alert goes to the operations manager and as a process, we'll insist operations manager to call him and do the service, whatever is required. Here we have two mechanisms. We'll say that voice of customer and we'll be taking feedback and after week or month, we'll be doing feedback analysis and all. We'll try to find the root cause and then we'll try to prevent the system. Yes, that process is also available, but immediate help if somebody wanted something when he's present in the hospital and all, we are giving facility to the customer where we can serve him better so that the experience will be in a different way. This screen already we have seen all payment modes uh, available in transactions related to op bill cancellation workflow and a discount workflow is also similarly in the same way online billing person will be raising the request and it goes to the management for approval and once it is approved they can do the transactions this also i mentioned uh, it goes as a link and once they open the link and all they can see the bill copy Lab reports also, once it is verified, it goes to the customer as an uh, link. And once they open the link and all, they can see their lab values. This I'll cover uh, when we are doing IP. This is related to IP. These screenshots are related to uh, whatever I said, the prescription goes to pharmacy automatically, uh, OP billing, and in OP billing, whatever tests are required and all, they can select it and uh, they can do the billing in the same way. For uh, outpatient pharmacy also, online prescriptions goes to pharmacy and from there they can do the billing. Few screenshots related to uh, the billing process in sample collection the barcoding system and uh, the barcode uh, sample collection team, they'll be collecting it. They'll be putting on the vacuum tuner. It's a general flow only and uh, it's a machine output and the machine output, how it gets interfaces automatically lab equipments and all. We have a facility where we can do the interface so that values comes automatically to a med mantra and from med mantra, once it is verified, then the information goes to customer as an SMS and uh, Customer can uh, see uh, this lab report online. Schedulers, as I said, each of the diagnostic area, we have a scheduler. And uh, they can schedule for each equipment on the required slot and this scheduler timings and all here it is showing us 10 minutes. We can configure it the way we require. 
somebody was asking me when we are doing the scheduler and all how it displays on the screen and how the timings will be there and all yes in radiology here uh, in one location they are okay with the timing and all here we are displaying the timing 10 to 10 30 in doppler one area and this time this is scheduled and all but most of the areas we have taken off these timings and we are simply displaying the IPR OP number and the room number only. If you see the doctor screen, which I showed previously there, I was not showing the time, but uh, in few areas we are using with time also. Facilities available to enable it or disable it, it is up to us. In radiology, I was telling you about the SMS link of images uh, can uh, means we are sending it to the patient and all. Automatic sending option is available to the customer. And if you want to send it to doctor and all, this option is there. And once they enter the doctor mobile number, then the same information goes to doctor also. Here, uh, I think uh, sound, uh, uh, I'm not able to show it to you, but uh, I'm showcasing here how doctor is using Ognito software for uh, his uh, reports typing and all. This facility is available in all radiology and disha summary areas this is how doctor will be referring and dictating and it is taken automatically and uh, the information is uh, typed and he can do the reporting whatever he is dictating automatically it comes here and he'll verify the report and he saves it Previously, we were using other software, but currently we are using Ognito as a voice recognition. And till date, we have not received any complaints from any of the specialty. This we are using in radiology, histopathology, discharge summary, and few of the doctors in prescription area also. Shridhar, uh, time check. Uh, it is uh, 4.30. If it is OK, I'll continue with few more slides. Otherwise, uh, schedules also and yeah. uh, we can have one anyhow like we have to have uh, we have to organize one more session like anything is pending like we will cover in that session uh, yeah, like we'll have five minutes more to take down the questions if anybody is having anything yeah any questions from anybody any questions uh, megaji and uh, sakshi ji like any feedback do you want to add anything more for the next meeting uh, sir, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, the porters management uh, app that you were saying, or the um, the follow up reminder call that you were saying that um, you know, when the patients get a call from four to six, like all these apps, Ognito, so all these apps are inbuilt in MedMantra. Portal management is not related to MedMantra. It is a service where uh, we'll be calling the, we'll be entering a request, then it goes to automatically to the customer. It is not integrated. Ognito is a software uh, to be installed in the system. Once it is installed in the system, we can use in any software. MedMantra, we can use it means by going into that particular field. Once we are dictating like Siri and other thing and all, it no, takes no. automatically. That integration is not required for Ognito. So Ognito, we have to take separately. This is what you're uh, saying. Yes, yes, yes Megaji. Uh, recently only I forwarded that uh, yeah, yeah, information to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, even the porters management, uh, the, the, that's uh, that's uh, an app or that's again a different software that we need to purchase. Yeah, yeah that is also a different uh, solution, Megaji. Uh, that's not uh, integrated with uh, Med Mantra, sir, right? That's not integrated with me, right? Uh, Ramon, sir, is that right? But, no, uh, right? No, for portal no? management, you have two solutions. Uh, one we call it as uh, uh, Tracker that's Wave, that. and uh, another one is also there. These two you can check it out. Uh, but integrated and all means Tracker Wave, yes, few functionalities we are planning to integrate with MedMantra. Health checkup and other uh, OT area and all it is done in Tracker Wave, it is integrated with MedMantra. Portal management, no, it is only for housekeeping. And we have not integrated uh, that software. Okay, okay. So, you, so you're suggesting us that we should have this app uh, for better management, right? 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, if housekeeping and all management means you can go for that otherwise if you're looking at a broader solution uh, what is suggest is uh, have a demonstration with tracker view team also once so that uh, not only the portal management you can do more uh, in that and that we are integrating with mid mantra uh, ramon sir tracker view we are not suggesting it is very expensive uh, for the bopal kind of hospital let us like uh, that portal that uh, port what is that portigo right what is oh, the solution portals name? Management. ah okay. yeah portals management that thing like let us like uh, if um, mega like if you wanted to go through the tracker wave or the solution we will take you through but like as of uh, like normally like we are suggesting uh, tracker wave for the uh, uh, big hospitals more than 500 600 bedded hospital okay. it is very costly okay. and if you wanted to go through like we can have we can arrange the demo on the both the solutions we can so we are going yeah. to focus on this. And okay. uh, uh, well, so this the reminder call app uh, IVRS, where uh, you were telling about uh, you know, the patients getting a call a day before uh, between four to six. So that is also inbuilt in Med Mantra, right? That is integrated with Med Mantra, but uh, it's a service like uh, that. IVRS service is like our SMS cost and this thing. They'll okay. enable it, and it so is again that has to be prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got Only usage charges we have to pay to that customer, like SMS okay. and WhatsApp. Yeah. Uh, sir, my question is uh, for payment gateway, uh, for pharmacy software and uh, made mantra, same gateway working or it's a uh, different different uh, gateway required for uh, pharmacy and uh, made mantra billing? Depends on hospital to hospital uh, in your hospital. If pharmacy and hospital thing is same and uh, uh, managed by uh, same management means, yes, you can use single gateway and that is uh, your finance decision how they want to do it. Okay. okay, sir. It's a configurable one. Whatever way you want, you can do it. Single gateway or two gateways, okay. different uh, OP separate, IP separate, pharmacy separate also possible. It's a configurable one. And sir, uh... Uh, bulk SMS, SMS uh, uh, separately required or inbuilt already integrated with made mantra or uh, separately required for bulk SMS. Only provider you have to buy from somebody. If you say that for your hospital, I'm taking services from this particular vendor means we have to configure to that particular vendor uh, related URL and all. If you say that currently in Chennai we are using with uh, one vendor, and the same vendor will uh, avail the facility and will do the payment to the same vendor means SMS wise and all same URL and uh, your this thing works. Automatically. If you are changing the vendor, okay. we have to configure it. If you're not changing the vendor and if you are going to use the same Chennai vendor, then no need of configuration only payment you have to do to that particular vendor. Third party vendor only. OK. OK, sir. Uh, anything else? No, sir. No, no, sir. Okay. And uh, Rajiv, no. just like uh, yeah, talk to Megaji and Sakshi ji. If uh, uh, you have any feedback from the uh, all, like whoever is attended, like we will like from the uh, next session. If anything need to be corrected or make it better, uh, we can follow okay. that trend. Okay. 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 OK, just collect the feedback on the session. Okay. Yeah, right. Uh, thank you. Thank you all for your time. I hope uh, okay. you uh, get to know many things. Uh, uh, I'm hoping that's why like we are bringing all the senior people from the IT leadership IT team uh, like uh, every day or like tomorrow. Also, we have a session, right? If I'm not wrong. Tomorrow or day after we have yes, a session. Yes. Gulab, day after, right? Day after, yes, sir, like, yes, sir, yeah, yes. day after, like we are going to have a session from the Delhi regional lead, and he also has got a uh, vast experience in the IT healthcare background. Okay, thank, thank you, sir. thank you all for thank your time. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank thank you, you. Sir and all person. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.